Welcome to Blender for Blogs. My name is Justin, and we are going to start looking at some workflows on how to cut your footage using Blender's video sequence editor. So I'm not going to go into all the controls or the shortcuts or anything. You can watch my previous videos for that. Uh, this is just showing you uh, just the simple workflow. So here's the first workflow that you can use in order to cut your footage. So you have your um, video and your audio strips here. So if you select one and shift select the other one, you can also uh, drag an, a box select. And if you just start dragging it in 2.8 now, it actually um, automatically box selects. Uh, you can also hit B, which is kind of the old way you had to do it uh, in 2.79 and before. Um, but yeah, just make sure uh, those are selected. And if there's a, these are the only two strips that you have, then you can just press A to select all or Alt A to deselect all. Um, you can also, I think, double A, double tap A to do that to deselect. So, so select all. And um, then what I want to do is just find find the place that I want to cut. We'll just say here. I'm just this is arbitrary, just cutting just to sh for demonstration purposes. So cut. And if my mouse is on this side, then these two are selected automatically. And then I can keep going. It's like, okay, that's the first cut. So maybe I want to cut out from here to uh, here. So then I hover my mouse on this side and I hit K to cut. And then with these two selected, I delete. Okay, same thing. And then when you just keep going, so uh, select um, these two, let's box select those two. And then we come over here and we go cut and then come over here. And then we say right here, well, let's do it right here. And then we want to hover over here. Okay. And these are selected automatically X to delete and erase. And you just keep going. Now, um, that's not the only way, and it's probably not the best way to do it um, either. It's not the most efficient. So if you have these selected, um, the best way to do it actually is to select uh, both of these, the handles. And then, um, so you make your cut. So when you make your cut over here, while your mouse is hovering over here, press K to cut. And then you can see these are still selected which means that you can hit G to grab and then just slide whichever cut you want. So then you cut out whatever what you want and you keep going. OK, so then we cut here. OK, and then these are highlighted and then we G to grab. And then cut here. G to grab. And that's actually really fast and you just keep going and doing that. Um, another way you can kind of do that same concept as if you just uh, cut here and then let's say you don't know where to drag to yet so because you haven't listened to this and you're like ah, oh, let's see well, it looks like I have some claps here so I'm gonna cut um, I'm gonna start where I start in right here um, so right after that flash well let's say on the flash so right there and um, then I want to cut all of this out, let's just say, um, because this is what I'm keeping. So this is what I'm going to be cutting. And now if I just press Shift S to snap that there, um, and then I can keep going. So my same thing. So cut, whoops, undo that. So cut, and then come over here and Shift S to snap. Yeah. So that's that's for if you want to like find exactly where you want to cut. But if you actually know the general area you, to cut, you can just hit G to grab and then move. Okay, so then when you're done cutting all of your footage, uh, then you can come back here to the beginning. So I do shift uh, left arrow, then I can come back to the beginning here. You do have to make sure your or your playhead cursor is over is on all the way over to the left or it's to the left of anything you want to remove the gaps from so uh, since it's all the way over to the left then it'll remove all of these gaps if I just press backspace if I do it once it'll remove the first one two three four and it will cont keep continuing to remove those gaps and that's the gaps of, if there's nothing on any of the um, any of the channels 
So then now we have our cut video and then what you would want to do is play through it to make sure they lined up. Original and so a couple tips to, to, to play through it when you line up. Um, as it plays, right at that cut, you can see it hangs and um, because it's, I guess, Blender's thinking and, and the cache, you can see it skips here. So what I found actually, and I'll put a, probably another video specifically talking about this, but if you page up, um, it'll cache that first frame in. And as long as the first frame or two or three are cached in, then it will just wipe right over that. And that's really cool. So you can see this cache down here. Now, if you can't see that cache, go up to view, uh, cache, show cache, and then you'll have to click view cache again and then click final images. And then over here where it says proxy and cache tab, make sure your cache final is checked. So you need to do that. Now, if this header isn't up here, it's going to be at the bottom. So just make sure you, you're aware of that. Wherever your sequencer is, um, your, your sequencer options are, that's where that view is going to be. But then, so now that that's cached in, you can see, um, let's just cache this one in too. So that's all, all solid dark orange down here. Uh, now if I play, yes. that cut is um, smooth. Now, uh, the next thing is, you can't hear anything. You can see this waveform right here, but you can't hear anything because um, at least in Blender 2.80, this version has a bug. Um, so I believe that they're fixing that now. Um, so in future versions, you won't have to do this next step, but you'll wanna make sure that the audio is highlighted and then hide it and unhide it. Or maybe you're- And then it just, it, it fixes it. But you'll have to do that for all of them. So I would just select everything, hide it, and then unhide it, and then you should be good. Um, but then uh, here, I'll show you what I mean by the cache again. So if you go page up, and see it, whatever uh, frame you're on, it automatically caches that. You can see that little dark orange strip right there. So then I would just page up to all of my cuts uh, to cache that first frame in. And now watch if I do that. Or fly in. And who knows, somewhere along the line. And that might is a lot. Well, this one this one actually didn't go so smoothly. But uh, sometimes it, it, go, it just Google flies pages. right over, just like or that. Making... So... Um, so yeah, that actually is really uh, helpful. And if it doesn't work with just one, then you can just go like page up or page down, um, goes to the different cuts, uh, page up and then, you know, hit your arrow arrow keys for a couple of them. And then um, Blender and line boom. up with the- And there you go, now that's a little bit more smooth. The last thing is um, now, if you do it this way and you collapse all of them uh, together, then, you're probably going to want to use, uh, pro you probably should make a shortcut for this too, but you're probably going to want to use select playhead to the left and to the right. Um, because let's say you need to move these out a little bit. You can see the red boundary over it. And that's just because um, when you move it, it you're overlapping here. So you'd have to actually come up this way. Um, so to get around that, what you can do is select playhead uh, to the right. And then you select all of them, and now you can grab those and move that way. And then what I like to, how I like to do this, let's say I'm adjusting this, like let's say I want this a little bit longer, then I'll uh, have these all selected here, and then uh, shift, press shift and hold, and then select these two, and then that that way it'll extend these two out, and it will move the rest of them. And you can do that either way, you know. Um, and let's say you don't need that, but you want to select all of these. Let's say you need to move, adjust all of these like this at the same time. Alternatively, and especially if you don't have uh, a shortcut for these, because no, there's no sh shortcut by default, um, that's a little tedious to continue to do that. And I actually have to do that a lot. So alternatively, let's say um, this is before your gaps. So let's say we have this over here. And uh, so what you can do instead of selecting all of them is just hit backspace once. And now if I zoom in here, I have room to move these back and forth. Uh, probably enough room to just adjust those. You know, and I can adjust these kind of how I like it. 
um, and like something like this. Uh, so like that. And then I can play the... Or maybe... And then, again, maybe I want to hide and unhide. I don't think I had to do it that time, but... And then you can just go to the next one. And another tip here is if you have uh, follow playhead checked, so down here at, at playback, and this is on your timeline. I have my timeline all, all the way squished down here. If you go to your timeline, select playback and follow playhead. Um, now if I page up, uh, that should have followed. <laughs> well, if I press play, then it will start following, you know. But uh, if I do shift left arrow and shift right arrow, it goes to the start and the the, be the beginning and the end, and it follows it. So I would have thought that page up would have done it. Well, anyway, even if you page up, you can hit zero, and it'll go right to it. So page up to go to the next cut, zero, and then we can backspace. That way you don't have to keep zooming in and out. Um, so hit backspace, and then, you know, test and adjust. Oops. Let's undo that. And... We can actually hit backspace here again, hide, unhide. Um, and let's say we like that. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Page up. Cache that first mm -hmm. frame in. Test knows? it out. So good. Looks good. Okay. Page up. Zero. Backspace. And just keep keep doing it like that. That's how I, I think I would recommend doing it if you went with this workflow. So that is it for the first workflow. Uh, there will be more videos coming out with other alternate workflows that you can use to edit your videos in Blender's video sequence editor. So stay tuned and happy editing.